hey, 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 how are you guys doing? I hope that you're doing good, everybody. Um, so I really didn't have anything planned, and then Shani went live. So I have no idea what she says. I haven't watched this. We're going to watch it together, me and you. So here we go. All right, this is from Shani's Instagram, as you can see. And here we go. Thank you guys for all the happy anniversaries. Thank you so much for that. I saw that when you guys were coming in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Uh-oh, there's the infamous laptop. Is it going to quack? What is she playing on there? Is she playing a game or something? Nintendo 64? Alright. Hi, you everyone. Doing, um, I've been really contemplating lately, and God has really... Maddie, you said it's a YouTube video. Are you telling me that there is one that somebody already uploaded or what? Because mm -mm -mm. I'll pull up that on um, YouTube if it's on there because then we can like rewind and do things a little easier. But I don't know if it's on there yet. Oh, that's that spoken YouTube. to my heart. Now I see what you're saying. That's not a game. She's watching a video. Got you. Took me a second, but <laughs> I caught up with you eventually. What you are and and hi hi W Campbell, how are you? I'm I'm okay. It's just I'm going through a lot right now, but that doesn't really matter. But um, when are you not going through a lot? God though? has really been speaking to my heart lately, and I like. I know I have a lot of people mad at me, and a lot of people are mad because me and my husband, we we ask people for money um, in order to survive, uh -oh. and I just, I just want to say sorry about that. What? And being so aggressive toward that, um, but I will say it's because we're desperate to survive, and it's... It's very hard to survive when you have two mentally disabled people trying to get their crap together. Um, and me, I'm, I'm physically disabled as well as mentally disabled. Yeah, yeah. We've, uh, Shani, we've all heard this before. There's one answer to all this, and that is getting a job. You guys have to. I don't know if you just cannot get this through your head. But even though that you have some some issues, you have some mental illness, maybe you have yourself, you have some physical as well, it still doesn't meet the level of disabled. It doesn't meet the level of can't work. It just doesn't. There's people that are way worse shaped than you that I see out working all the time. So you guys just aren't accepting this, but... It's gonna end. It's gonna end up with either you're gonna be fucking homeless, or you're gonna have to get some kind of job because it's just inevitable. It's inevitable. But you guys don't ever listen. So, and it's very hard to try to figure out life when you you have all these challenges. Like, for instance, me. I'm I'm virtually unhirable for the normal like job where you're standing on your feet and you, you know service work I, I can't physically do that um, I'm under strict orders by my osteo doctor to not pick up more than 15 pounds um, because of the arthritis in my legs and my hips and my back and it's just Michael Furberger. I love that. 
you said, Carrie, when you say way worse shape than her, you do realize she won the Iowa State Fair Pumpkin Contest. <laughs> Thank you for that, Michael Furberger. It's <laughs> so progressive. Hey, Omni. Um. Okay, you can't lift 15 pounds. Right now. When, like, when women are pregnant, they can't lift a lot either. Pregnant women still work. I worked until I was, like, literally, like, a week out of giving birth. Why can't you do it? How that... Um... It's, it's just destroying me as a person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um... I'm I'm currently under five different meds right now for pain. I'm sure you're loving that. And I have other problems mm. that are coming with the pain. I'm not getting into details or anything, but sure you won't. It's bad. It's bad, guys. It's very Excuse us if we don't fucking care or take attention when your fucking ass has gotten up here so many times and said it's bad, guys. It's really bad. I'm dying. And then you fucking live. <laughs> again and again and again and again. It's a fucking miracle, I tell you. It is a fucking miracle. Very bad. Why am I not calling out Colleen Ballinger? Because I, I'm done with that stuff on... Um, calling people out and and mm -hmm. verbally humiliating them you know there's enough people who are round and about talking about her you really don't need my opinion or me calling someone out um so i'm sorry you wanted a video like that but that's i don't think that's a correct way how to deal with stuff um, I say, let the government and, um, the police and, and the officials take care of a situation like that. Mm, okay. Um, I'm just a stupid dork. You don't want people to get involved, okay? Well, then next time your husband gets locked up, roll your boyfriend. Um, it's not our problem. Don't come screaming and crying to the internet to get you out of that. No one's going to care. You don't care when other people are going through shit. Oh, the, the cops, you know, they can just deal with them. Okay, the government can just deal with them. All right. That's what they can do with you, too. And, um, I just, I, I don't, I don't know her. I know nothing of her. So, yeah. Um, I, I just... And if I did know her, I wouldn't say anything either because it's just, it's, right. it's not Jenny, needed. Stop. So many people are just so obsessed act? with wanting to take other people down. And it's just like, I, I, like, I'm on five different meds, like heavy meds right now. I, I'm only taking care of myself and, and, um. You're not doing that. Let's be real. You know, I, I don't need any <clears throat> um, other stuff distracting me. So, like, I'm sorry you expect me to do something like that, but, like, I've, oh I haven't been... You've done more distracting, explaining why you're not going to talk about that than it, what well, it would have been if you would have just talked about it. My God online like, holy shit, I haven't been looking on. up stuff I've I've just been doing things that make me she drives me crazy like I don't mean to be so like short and such a bitch but oh my god like it's so fucking irritating happy that are positive that are not in the toxic realm um I've been going to therapy regularly um and it, it's just mess. that type of, uh, <laughs> I guess, content. Uh, I will no longer be doing. 
um, but I, I am surviving the best I can, and I praise God for all his little miracles. Hi, Coroner Girl, I see you cl clicked on. Um, I just want to say I love you and, and thank you for everything. Um, I really very much appreciate it um, a lot, everything. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, I don't have energy for much anymore. You know, and um, emotional stress is something that has really hurt me physically, I think. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's good for anyone to constantly be on the attack of people um, and, and hurt others. Uh, it's inappropriate behavior anyway if you go to therapy they'll tell you it's inappropriate therapy and you need to stop for your own mental health um, so in regards to Colleen Ballinger stop looking into that holy shit you're still fucking talking about this oh my god is there ever going to be a point you're still just rambling about what you don't want to talk okay we got it. you don't want to talk about that move on then Stuff because for it's bad for sake. your mental health and being so angry and um i forgot how infuriating it is to watch her reactive like jesus that stuff is just it's just not worth it in the long run thank you coroner Prayers for your family, too, sweetheart. Um, like, prayers to everyone, really. That Thanks, they can Annie. get better physically, mentally, spiritually. Um, Aww, I've thanks. just been on Mama a journey Mama without Shani. social media. And I, I, I actually am enjoying it. Um, yeah, you sound like you're really enjoying life, Shani. But I know there's people that care for me, so mm -hmm. I'll come on once in a while and say hi. Um, All right, question. Do you think that she really just decided to come on to say hi? Or do you think that, you know, uh, this is for a purpose? And either she has to do this because someone's going to give her money or something to that degree. What do you guys think? I don't think she just chooses to do anything, honestly. Any anything that takes any kind of work, it's got to be for for something or she's not going to do it. But as a content creator, I don't think I I I I'm going to be going back in that. I spent 20 years trying to get this damn Google Play button. Uh, that's what you're trying to get? From Shanny. YouTube. And oh, God. I never got it. I that's wasn't allowed to. Um, what? I was bullied and harassed. Shanny, you did What? You didn't even come close. Are you... You're not serious. You're going to blame everybody else that you didn't get there? Come on. My God. Terribly. And it's like it was it, a possibility. It's gotten to a point where it actually has affected my health and my mental health. So I have to stop that. You know what I mean? Yeah. We do. Um, and I didn't know it at the time how bad it was affecting me, but me not being on social media or looking anything up that's drama related. Um, it, it really has helped me that computer is filthy. not to want to hurt others. Look how dirty that computer is. You know she has not wiped that thing down in years. Probably since she bought it.
Like, you can look at that and it almost has a smell with it. Everything they have just looks dirty. I don't know what it is. There, well, I do know what it is. There's fucking literal dirt on everything. Sir, and, and not be so reactive, you know? I see my mistakes that I've made. Mm -hmm. I acknowledge my mistakes that I made, and I own the mistakes that I made um. on social media. And all I can say to other people is, like, I'm sorry. When I was pushed, I reacted so poorly. Mm -hmm. um, but now it's it's different, you know. Everything has changed, you know. I'm I'm not doing that stuff anymore, and keeping to myself, um, just trying every little bit to enjoy whatever life I have. Um, please don't. Please don't, Shani. Please don't start saying things about you're dying and shit, because we've went through this before with you. You're not dying. You may be in pain, and you may have illness, but you are not dying any more than I am. You know, just by living, you're you're dying in a way. But, do you know what I'm saying? You're not dying. You've gotten checked out. You don't have anything. The doctor, like, if you were, if, if any of this that you had thought was deadly, that's been ruled out, if it actually was, by now, you would have been dead. It would have happened. You're fine. You just need to lose some weight. And if you did that, if you focused on that, and you actually lost some weight, oh my god. I really think that it, you would feel so much better. You really would. It would, all of a sudden, life would be a lot easier for you to get around. Showering wouldn't be as painful. You just said that yesterday. That it's painful to even take a shower. You gotta do something. You gotta make some changes, Shani. Like, or else you really are gonna end up dead. But it's going to be the weight that kills you. Left. And, and not only that, I've, I've <clears throat> been, I've been doing little, little gigs on the side, trying to get any amount of money. And I've been trying to get $25 for, um, just home household goods. Stop. And I'm having the hardest time <sighs> making the money. To just say that you need Delta 8. God, that's so fucking annoying. You like, you treat us like we're stupid, like we don't know what you guys are doing and what you spend your money on. Jesus. To do it and finding gigs because it's like, I'm really disabled. <laughs> and, um, no. You're really how not. the world has been and it's 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 very hard to to not only cope but to survive in a world like this because everything is run on money you know and everything is run on like a lot of things are run on drama and hatred, and I, I think it's really these reaction channels and stuff, and and even the news is really mentally abusive. Oh my god. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? No way. We can't watch this over again. I can't do that. Is there really no way to do that? Oh my god. Maybe someone uploaded it by now. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Yikes. God, get on something different than Instagram, Shani, for fuck's All sake. Right. Hold on. There's a couple of channels that archive her stuff. Let me see Hi if I can everyone. find it. Um, you up you'll upload it, Omni? Okay. I've been really contemplating lately, see. and God has really... I has spoken to my heart again. and and oh Jesus Christ! Give hi, me a second, guys. Hi, W. Campbell. How are you? I'm I'm okay. 
it's just I'm going through a lot right now, but that doesn't really matter, but, um, God has really been speaking to my heart lately, and I, like, I know I have a lot of people mad at me, and a lot of people are mad because me and my husband, we, we ask people for money. Is there not a way, hold on. Go to post like they, there's no way to fast forward um, this in order to survive and i just God. i just want to say sorry about that and being so aggressive toward that 50 um, but i will say it's because we're desperate to survive and it's it's very hard to survive when you have two mentally disabled people trying to get their crap together um, and me, I'm, I'm physically disabled as well as mentally disabled. And it's very hard to try to figure out life when you, you have all these challenges. Like, for instance, me, I'm, I'm virtually unhirable for the normal, nice. like... Give me one second, guys, and we'll be able to go and watch it on YouTube. Sorry about that. Um, just a little delay. It's a little delay, delay, but we'll be there. We will get there. Job where you're standing on your feet and, you, you know, service work. I, I can't physically do that. Um, I'm under strict orders by my osteo doctor to not pick up more than 15 pounds. Um because of the arthritis in my legs and my hips and my back. And it's just, it's so progressive. Jenny, when the doctor said he didn't want you picking up 15 pounds, he meant stop eating and gaining weight. He meant don't pick up 15 more pounds, bitch, and come back in here weighing 15 more pounds. That's what he meant, Shani. <laughs> Sorry. Um right now that um it's it's just destroying me as a person. Um It is not it is not my day, I swear to god. I just spilt coffee all over myself oh my god and i don't have a paper towel in here in my office so i have to use my sweatshirt and it's i'm really like i'm going through it today guys um, <laughs> i'm i'm currently under five different meds right now i bet you're happy pain. about that shit. and i have other problems that are because she was on three now she's on five so what did they put her on Hmm. Come in with the pain. I'm not getting into details or anything, but it's bad. It's bad, guys. It's very bad. Why am I not calling out Colleen Ballinger? Because oh, I, God. I'm done with that stuff. Um, calling people out and and verbally humiliating them you know there's enough people who are round and about talking about her you really don't need my opinion or me calling someone out um so i'm sorry you wanted a video like that but that's just, i don't think that's a correct way how to just be real you haven't looked into it that much and you probably just don't know that much about it to speak on it. It's not some like, oh, I don't want to talk bad about her. Sure you do. Deal with stuff. Come on, Channy. Um, we know you. I say let the government and um, the police and, and the officials take care of a situation like that. Um, I'm just a stupid dork. And, um... I just, I, 
I don't, I don't know her. I know nothing of her, so, yeah. Um, I, I just, and if I did know her, I wouldn't say anything either because it's just, it's, it's not needed. So many people are just so obsessed with wanting to take other people down and it's just like, I, I like, I'm on five different meds, like heavy we know. You told meds us. right now. Heavy I, meds. I'm only taking care of myself and, and, um, not just any meds. You know, I, I don't need any, no worries, Omni, we'll get there. Um, other stuff distracting me. So like, just I'm use sorry those. you expect. To any of you who have been here and you're like, oh, God, you have time to go get something to drink or eat or use the restroom or whatever and come back and then we'll probably be right where you were. So I apologize. Me to do something like that, but Instagram, like Fuck. I've Fuck. I haven't been online. I haven't been looking up stuff. I've I've just been doing. But it's honestly a great thing for her to do because it. It's torturous. Like, it's torturing the people that watch her, and it's making you have to watch her shit more, you know, more than one time. Like, she's getting the last laugh by having shit on Instagram, I tell you. At least for me. But luckily, there are people like Omni who grab it and put it onto YouTube pretty quick. So, unless you're, you know, like me, jumping on right as soon as it happens... You're probably okay. Things that make me happy, that are positive, that are not in the toxic realm. Um, I've been going to therapy regularly, um, and it, it's just that type of, uh, I guess, content. Uh, I will know. All right, hold on. We got it. We got it. Omni came through. Let me grab the link to his channel too. This is Omni's channel. If you have not went, check out Omni Presents. He's live tonight, right? Tonight's Saturday. Correct, sir? Let me make sure I'm telling people the right information. Yes, tonight is Saturday. So you will be going live tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, correct, Omni? We'll make sure. All right, let me find where we were at, everybody. Opinion or appropriate therapy. And you need to stop for your own mental health. I know I heard that. Um, so, in regards to Colleen Ballinger, stop looking into that stuff because it's bad. And really, that they can get better physically, mentally. All right, I think we were somewhere right here. It's just not. Wait, what? Why was I timed out? <clears throat> just a lurker i'm not sure why you were timed out it might have been an accident that does happen so could have been an accident i'm not, not sure it. in the long run thank you coroner prayers for your family too sweetheart um like prayers to everyone really that they can get better physically, mentally, spiritually. Um, I've just been on a journey without social media, and I, I, I actually am enjoying it. Um, oh, it was Michael. Michael coming through with the pocket mod. See, I told you, Jester Lurker. <clears throat> I apologize for him. He is so out of line. I will deal with him when he gets home. <laughs> no, but seriously, he I'm sure he didn't mean to. Just a lurker. <clears throat> if, if any of you ever do have a problem like that, do not stress or worry. Just let me know. Um, and if you were accidentally blocked or something like that, like I can go and fix that. So no worries at all. It, stuff, stuff does happen. Accidents do happen. So that's usually what it is around here. We're not... We're not out, uh, you know, just blocking people for nothing. But I know there's people that care for me, so... Thank you guys for being patient. I'll come on once in a while and say hi. Um, but 
as a content creator, I don't think I, 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 I'm going to be going back in that. I spent 20 years trying to get no, this you're fine. damn Just a lurker. Google Play button. This Google Play button. Oh, yeah, I heard this the first time, so we're getting close to it. But Shani, she can't be serious with that. I really don't think she could be serious. From YouTube, and... She's going to blame that? I like never got it. Had a chance I wasn't allowed to. Come on. Um, I was bullied and harassed terribly. No, you weren't. And it's... It, it's gotten to a point where it actually... It's not harassment if you're choosing to go on and watch it, Shani. And that's the way that you claim that you're harassed. Which is a two-way thing. You, you, you have to participate for it to be able to happen. So that in itself... It, you're taking some of the control you have and you're choosing to go into that and do that. It has affected my health and my mental health, so I have to stop that. You know what I mean? Um, and I didn't know it at the time how bad it was affecting me, but me not being on social media or looking anything up that's drama related um it, wait. it really <clears throat> wait she just said how bad it is for her thought it was affecting me but me not being on social media or looking at... she said how bad it was affecting me me not being on social media that makes it sound like her not being on social media was a bad thing right she's an idiot um and i didn't know it at the time how bad it was affecting me but me not being on social media or looking anything up that's drama related. Um, Why would it, that be it bad? really has helped me not to want to hurt others or and, and not be so reactive. You know, I see my mistakes that I've made. I acknowledge my mistakes that I made and I own the this. This right here, this always comes about a week shy of her going on a fucking rampage. So, she says shit like this. I've heard her do this before, where she's all peace and love and everything. And, da -da 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 -da. and then a week later, she'll be on here raging the fuck out. So, that's, you know, if I, if I was a betting man, if I had to take a guess, I would say... This little, this little, uh, attitude is not going to hang around for long. The mistakes that I made on social media and all I can say to other people is like, I'm sorry. When I was pushed, I reacted so poorly. Um, but now it's, it's different. You know, everything has changed. You know, I'm, I'm not doing that stuff anymore and keeping to myself um just trying every little bit to enjoy whatever life I have um left and and not only that I've I've been I've been doing little little gigs on the side trying to get any amount of money and I've been trying to get $25 for um, just home household goods and I'm having the hardest time making the money to do it and finding gigs because it's like Is she I'm really disabled and um, <sighs> how the world has been and it's, 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 oh my God, it's very hard to, to not only cope, but to survive in a world like this because, oh my God, Jenny, um, somebody, I thank you for this, uh, super chat. You said, my God, she talks so slow. I know. Cause she's trying to think of the next thing to say, because this is what I think that this is really about at this point is going to be asking for money. 
she's going to be asking for money. She's just building up to that. That's what I think. Everything is run on money, you know? And everything is run on, like... A lot of things are run on drama and hatred. And I, I think it's really these reaction channels and stuff and and even the news is really mentally abusive to society because it's causing people extra paranoia extra fear uh causing them to have hatred in their hearts causing them to to continue to hate and and to just basically be bitter and i wish society would come together as as one as a whole and really introduce back into the car culture empathy and compassion for other people instead of this divisionary thing that's going on in media and it's all through media the the mainstream media social media it's all drama and hatred and it really has made a lot of people on earth mentally ill and I know it's shocking to hear that at first, like, I'm not mentally ill, but I, 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 I just want to, I guess, <sighs> persuade you to take some time off the internet, off social media, off the drama and stuff, and, and I guess realize how precious your life is and how precious other lives is and realize that if you take a break, you'll realize the damage it has caused yourself um, and, and caused you to hurt others and caused you to, like, mm -mm. just be a, a jerk. Me, I, I, I have to say, I've, I've been a jerk plenty of times on social media, but I didn't, I didn't realize the extent on how mentally damaging it is. And, and when you're mentally damaged, it's eventually going to go to the physical health. Um, mental health and physical health go together um, to make you whole and I I'm just not I'm not there anymore I have no want no need to engage in that mentality or anything like that to watch things that are toxic and hateful because it makes you toxic and hateful like it's like in the Bible when when Jesus was talking about the leaven of the Pharisees, mm -hmm. um, it's also said that, you know, bad, uh, I, I, I can't even think, I'm fuck. sorry. Um, oh, I don't know if it's ADD or what, but, like, I am, like, trying to focus on what she's saying, but my mind is, like, slipped, like, it's so fucking boring. Oh my god, Shani. I'm having a lot of memory problems lately. I feel you though. I um, do have that too. But <laughs> I have to admit, I have some memory issues, short-term memory I'm issues. I'm doing a lot better mentally. Um I'm happy. And I really want to keep my peace and my happiness. Um, and a contentness no matter what's going on in my life, I, I can find joy. Um, that's the most important thing right now. Um, but... Finding joy I is know. the most important thing? What about getting your kids back? Is that just not on the fucking, in the cards for you, as they say? Because you never bring them up. Like... Your only your only focus right now in your life is to be happy and but but what about your kids' happiness? Does that matter to you? Like it's just so fucking bizarre. That God will provide you don't talk about them and it's weird. And God will always give like little miracles. Um, if you need to eat, there's there's always like an angel that will help you with food. Um, if you need shelter, there's always an angel that will help you with shelter um i trust in god and i i trust 
that no matter what happens in my life, he will find a way to help me live. Um, but right now it's just very hard. Some idiot Marie Kondo voice? These children do not bring joy. I don't know who that is. Some idiot. You went right over my head with that one. Um, fill me in on who she is and why that's a joke. <laughs> but thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Even if I don't get your joke. Hard to try to scrap any money together for us, but God will provide. Um, I know that because he's, he's amazing. He, he... He's helped us She's survive. She's a cleaning this and lifestyle lady. Interesting. I'll have to look into that. I, I, can't, I can't conceive that he w would just stop helping us when we need it the most. Um, but, you know, there's it's just stressful out there in life, you know? And um, social media, in a lot of ways, adds more stress on your life when you really don't need it you can just turn off the phone turn off the computer and, and do something positive um like right I now i can't argue with that i'm i'm crocheting um it's a little piece right now i'm planning on making a a whole like suit on it but oh, it's, Jesus. it's really pretty um um it's really pretty. That's an, and, un an and, unfortunate color. I, I'm, I don't like that color. Why does it look like food? Like it looks like rice or po like I don't know. It's something weird about that. It does. It looks like vomit, maybe or something. It's weird. Um, Lindsay, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Carrie. Hope you are doing good. I'll rewatch later. I unlike. I, unlike Shani, need to go snuggle my little one. Aw, Lindsay. That's so sweet. Thank you. And go enjoy snuggling your little one. Yes, Shani. I don't think Shani even misses it, to be honest. That's what's sad. Because I, I don't think she was snuggling with them when she had them there. You know what I mean? Which is really, yeah, depressing, honestly. But, yeah, Shani. Different color. This would have been kind of cute maybe like in a teal or i don't know purple but this pukey orange color is just a little weird the um the yarn is very soft so i think it'll feel good maybe i'm just too um what's the word maybe i'm being too picky with her just because it's her that made it if it was someone else i'd probably be like oh it's great <laughs> but because it's shanny i'm like it's fucking hideous <laughs> Uh, thank you, David. Anthony, uh, you said she wants everyone to kiss her ass, including God. Accurate. I think that that's accurate, David. Um, thank you for the super chat. On my body, um, because I'm, I'm, I'm making like a, a, a dress, I guess you could say with, uh, the yarn, but... A dress? But wait a minute. Wait a minute. But I think it'll feel good on my body because um, I'm, I'm I'm making like a a, a dress. I... Uh, no. 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 No, ma'am. You are not making a dress out of that. Please, God, no. Can you imagine the sight? Can you imagine the size? Mm -mm. I guess you could say no, it. No, Shanny. Mm -mm. uh, the yarn, but. Do not do it. Do not fucking do it. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Lord in heaven. But we're making it through. Um, and that's the most important thing is we're making it through. Um, even though there's some stuff that's worrying us, some future stuff, but that's okay. Um, oh. Wait, 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 wait. She's dropping some hints. Do you think this could mean they have to be out of the house? That the uncle's giving them the boot? Let's listen to that again. We're making it through. Um, even though there's some stuff that's worrying us, some future stuff, but that's okay. Um, 
Jesus did say, you'll have your trials and your tribulations. Um, Huh. What is it? Please stop. Uh oh. With the uh hurtful words, it's and lies. Um doesn't do you any good. It doesn't help anyone. And um, you know, I guess some people have to repeat their lies over and over again so people believe it. It's a Joseph Goebbels tactic, um, a Nazi uh tactic that people do. They they make a lie. What is her deal with Joseph Goebbels? She loves to bring that guy up. Loves to. She has a thing for the Nazi stuff. I, I don't know what's going on there, but um, Lindsay, thank you for the super chat. You said, Shani, I hate to tell you, you are going to need a lot more yarn. Okay, I will try not to be mean anymore. No, Lindsay, please be mean. We like it when people are mean around here. <laughs> thank you, Lindsay. Lie. They repeat it over and over again, and eventually people believe them because um, they just want to be mean-spirited. Um, yes, the covert Nazi death cult. Her and uh, Chief Little Flower, they need to talk. <gasps> Shani could make something. She could crochet something for Little Flower to wear. I could totally see that happening in real life. Her making something and Little Flower wearing it i could definitely see that happening and frankly i don't deal with mean-spirited people um it's just i'm moving on with my life and enjoying my life and it's it's yeah it it's sounds good. like it um it sounds like it, Shani. It's good to enjoy your life. Um, <laughs> sounds fucking depressed to and me. And that's what I'm doing. And um, I'm taking care of myself mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. You know, I'm doing everything I can um, to be well. Um, but I will no longer engage people who just want to be mean-spirited and toxic. Um, by the way, I still have, have this sped up. This is sped up. She's talking this slow, sped up. I have no place in my life. It's crazy. Those who want to be, and, um, yeah, just... Find something to make yourself happy, guys. Um, find something that isn't toxic to your soul and your vibes, your energy. Um, you know, I've also been um, wearing my rose quartz. Oh, um, Lord. What do we got here? It's very healing stones. Um very cool stones actually they're very cold so it feels this is dark sided we're on the dark side shanny this is evil good when it's nice and hot to put on your <laughs> rose gold or your not rose gold but rose quartz and um g-man is not gonna like this let that healing energy in that needs to be in um you know um, it's like, I, I feel like a totally different person than I was like five, six months ago. Um, I was a very reactive person, very angry at the world and people and, you know. <laughs> She's not a Christian! I have to pull that up now. You know that I have to. Hold through on. therapy and through self-contemplation self-contemplation i realize Get that a lot of people here, don't realize the harm they do to others and don't realize how hurtful and harmful their words are um this is through my own experience and how toxic that is to you, yourself and your being um you know 
I just want love and and good. I just want love and peace. Um, let me. We're gonna have to watch this. This is my favorite lady on Wife Swap. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but she, um, she's. I think she's my yeah, favorite. She's here. She's here. No way. Sided. She said her whole the entire house is dark sided. Oh my house god. Is she is dark sided too! Are you nervous? <laughs> this is my We're, house. I want no money. I want nothing. These poor kids, they do not know what the fuck is happening right now. Like, they were so happy to see their mom, and then she comes in acting like this, and they're like, fuck, where did the witch go? Bring the witch back! We want the witch back! And I want my God, and I want my family! This is tainted! I don't want it! Whatever it is, it's tainted! Whatever it is you're giving me, I give it up to God! I'm a God warrior! And I don't want someone with tainted anything in beliefs! Doing anything with my family! Get out! Get Ooh. out! <gasps> I want these crew members leaving! Get these ear sets off of me. I've had enough. Gargoyles! Psychics! Everything's on guard! That's my favorite. Gargoyles! Psychics! <laughs> Dark sided! Dark sided! Get the hell out of my house! In Jesus' name, I pray! <laughs> Enough. Oh, I just said. Ma, come sit with Did us. you talk about astrology? No. Did you get hypnotized by her? I have taken a stand. I have taken a stand. I am not a fence rider. I was over there praying for all these people, but I needed prayer. I needed you we to be praying for I you. Need, you, you Mom, give me. I was praying for you every night that I was praying for you every but night. I so needed hard. your prayers. So that's my fault. You did come to my mind. Bitch. There was nothing of God. Every day, it was nothing of God. I that was so mean to say to that daughter, you did come to my mind. Like, you bitch. God. I had to change the whole plans and make everybody go to a Catholic church because I was leaving. Took the ear sets. I said, I am leaving. Fly, fly me home. Oh, mama, just talk We had that. a party, a uh, solstice party. Well, she said that was about the moon. It was a long Yeah, it's thing. about the moon because they only believe in the moon and the gods and the this and the that. Jenny was not like that. She, her name is Jade. I went to her station. I yeah. went to her station. Her kids don't go to church or believe in God. She I did it with her kids. Well, she did. Ashley, astrology. Mom, I believe Tarot you. card readings. She didn't bring it up with us. And if everybody would look back at everything I've been saying and preaching and praying and saying, I've been saying I am a spiritual warrior because I feel like I'm a spiritual warrior. Like I've had to put armor on just to walk out that house. I want none of this. I want out of this. Because you know what? I won't take some ungodly person telling me what to do with my money or that money for us. I don't want it in my house. It's tarot cards and astrology and witch books and... And we had none of that here. Because you know why? Because I'm the warrior. I asked all the questions. Take the money. Wait. Take whatever you got. I'm the warrior. I ask all the questions. Like, what? All right, we're almost God. done with this, guys. Can't get out of my house. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I pray. They will be on my prayer list for the day I die. Every one of you them. You spoke to her? I speak that into existence. Every one of them. I planted that seed and I will see the harvest. Get out of my house. Every dark sided person, get out of my house. If you believe in Jesus, you can stay here. Don't stay in my house if you're dark sided. 
I don't uh, want to see a book of witches. I don't want to see anything, any stars. I don't want to see any of this dark side of psychics, all the things, tarot card reading. I rebuke it in the name of the Lord. Mom, come no, sit. No, I am a, like that. Look, come talk to somebody. I am hands. a prayer warrior. Do you know what she is? That you know what they do? Did you ask her, was she a Christian? Did you ask her, did she believe in God? Not God, not stars, not witches, we, God. We, I've been educated while I've been gone. I've been educated on stuff. There was stuff I didn't even want you to hear, but you need to You know hear. why? Because mama can't protect They put me on the talk show and had a psych in the air. I took the ear sets off and said, I am flying home. I don't believe in this. Why don't you ask? Why am I the stroke? I'm always the one that asks all these things. I'm the one that's the warrior. Why can't you be the warrior? And then they have this wonderful star thing, okay? Yeah, and there's Buddha, and there's the Buddha flag, and there's the zoology. It just goes on. Every day it was something ungodly. I was thrown in the pit. Thrown in the pit. You couldn't even walk up the front door without the Buddha flags here. He thinks he's been reincarnated. Nothing of God. I felt dark. I love this part at the end because you know how she ripped that shit up? She ripped that check up like, oh, I'm not keeping this. It's dark sided. She kept the fucking money. In the end, she kept the money. Gorgon! Decided to accept the money. Of course she did. Crazy lady. Um, some idiot. Thank you for the super chat. You said, are we sure this isn't pre-wart Shani? No, I'm not sure. That could have been her in a different life. Yes, now and, she's in this and, dark side of this. And God and Jesus. Thank you, and, some idiot. You know, my cats, my children, my husband, you know, those are the most important things in my life right now is that stuff, you know, um, the drama stuff, Gargoyle. like, I, Psychics. I'm over it completely, um, and I'm happy about that, because it's just, like, it's, it's just stupid, it's just, like, a waste of time, um, and you're hurting people with knowledge or without knowledge, um, and it's just, it's just dumb, like, if you just, Take a step back and 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 you listen to how ridiculous you sound screaming at other grown adults on the internet. It just you you look ridiculous or or trying to sway someone in a direction that they don't need to. Like what makes people and and you know, what makes you so entitled to like do y'all have a clue what she's talking about anymore? Because I don't. Like, it's going in one ear and out the other, Shani. I mean, God. To my life or others' lives so or, or, you know, what makes you so entitled? You think your voice is so much more important than someone who's living their own life. You know what I mean? Um, like, really, it's just, it's, yeah, it's like a Omni. dog barking at a tree. Omni said. You know who looked ridiculous? Reb, shaving his head with a big scarlet A on his forehead. Thank you. Um, the tree's gonna stay stay where it's at. And um, you're just barking at the tree for no reason. Um, it's not gonna move the tree, barking at the tree. It's certainly not gonna help the tree grow any faster, barking at the tree. It's not gonna, like... What? It's a waste of time. Barking and it's at dumb. the tree? And it's unneeded energy to exert into the world. Like, what? I really believe in manifesting, and I am manifesting oh, goodness, go. wholeness, strength, love, um, trying to conquer things financially. Um, How are I'm you manifesting doing that? those things. I'm not manifesting this toxic horrible drama that I was stuck in for way too long. Like, I was talking to my therapist today, and I was like, it was, it's like I almost, like, wasted 20 years of my life trying to defend myself from people who aren't even entitled to my life. Like, they, like, everything they say and do, it, like, it's not going to change their life. It's not going to change my life. 
in my position, um, it's just this excess noise. Um, you know, it's kind of like when you're that deep in social media and drama and toxicity, it's, it's kind of like, it's very much similar feelings to someone who's experiencing um, schizophrenia because it's just a bunch of these voices in your head telling you to do all these different things. And it gets very confuse, confusing, you know, and you question who you are as a person. And, like, I'm on a journey to rediscovering who I am because I lost so much of who I am because of, of trauma. And, you know, I'm, I'm healing from trauma. I'm, I'm, I'm healing from all that bad crap that has happened in my life. And I want to continue to heal. And um, doing things that are toxic aren't going to help you heal at all it's it's going to do the opposite and you got to put more work in to heal from that so like it's not worth it in the long run what what's worth it is is just finding ways how to be happy and without social media and listen as you sit on social media make it make sense into all these voices and you know feeling like I have to be talking to people when I don't want to talk to people <coughs> mm. excuse me I think Jesus oh I think I swallowed a fly like I don't even know if there's a fly maybe it was Kaffir yeah Ew. for real Ugh. Jesus but I've been taking care of I thought myself. Thought she was joking. And I'm proud. And there were like a few instances where I could have reacted to certain things, and I chose not to react. And I'm really—I'll be honest—I'm really proud of myself not reacting to negativity and really toxic people. I'm really proud of myself of that. So like that's that's basically what's been happening like I'll, I'll say it again like if I hurt you in any way in the past by being reactive I'm sorry um I just didn't know how to handle the situation and conduct myself um and I was on the defense for so long that I didn't realize it you know just constant survival mode um that's a tough thing to go on is to be on constant survival mode and it's like I'm not on survival mode anymore. I'm on what happens will happen mode and just let life wash over me like water. Um, you know, because, you know, I'm learning a lot of things about myself. Um, learning a lot about my faith. Um, just learning and growing <clears throat> as a person. Mm-hmm. And I'll just be honest, I don't need social media. I don't think anyone needs social media. You can find a way away from it. Then how would you be making this statement right now, Shani? Without social media, how do you get to make this statement right now? Are you going to send a letter to all your followers? The post office? I mean, like, how how are you going to make that happen? You know, and and move on with your life and, and enjoy your life. So that's what I've been doing. You know, but I want to thank everyone for their prayers and their thoughts. Um, I'm sorry I don't regularly talk to you guys on DMs like I used to. It's just, it's mostly been Jason that's been contacting people on Facebook. On um, Belle, yeah, I love Camilla. I never claimed that to be my art. <clears throat> You'll never have heard me say that. And I've shared her stuff before on my social media on other things, so I'm not sure what your point is. Not Facebook, but Instagram. Um, for me, um, because I have to for my mental health. 
stay away from that crap. You know what I mean? Um, not that I'm saying you're crap. You're not. <laughs> David, thank you for the super chat. You said Shani just admitted to having flies to the point that she accidentally swallowed one. That's a lot of flies. Her depths of filth are confirmed once again. That's disgusting. But it's a good point, David. But there are other people within the mix of the awesome kick-ass people that I love. Um, but it's like, I, I have to stay away from it for my own sake. Um, because I have to heal. You know, I feel like if I don't heal mentally and physically, I'm, I'm going to die. And I, I have two sons that I have to live for. And, I, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing them growing old and, and me being a grandma and, and seeing my grandchildren. What? You know? We're going to skip right to grandchildren. <laughs> You're going to skip right to grandchildren, eh? Wow. I'm going to be 40 in a month. I certainly... I said this, like, I think like a year ago. I certainly don't want to be 40 years old arguing with people on the internet. And I'm certainly intending for that to be a reality, you know? I just, like... You just see these people and they're in their 30s, 40s, 50s, some even in their 60s, and they're acting like teenage children in high school trying to, like, get popularity points. And it's just, like, it's silly. It's stupid. I'm, I'm like, I, I, I pray to God they outgrow that crap, but whatever. They, they'll do what they need to do. Um, but, like, yeah, I just, I feel good. I guess you could say, you know, even well, though good. I have a lot of stuff going on in my life, at the same time, I feel good. And, um, everyone, I, I love you guys so much. You guys are awesome, you know? Um, but yeah, that's, that's where I am in life. Um, and that's where I intend to be because it's the healthiest I can be. Oh, yeah, Omni, I'm going to be wrapping it up right after this is over, and this will just be a couple more minutes, so it's all good. And um, I got to save my mental health for <laughs> not gonna be on uh, here very all long. these medical things that are going down with me, you know? I, don't, I, don't, I, I can't stress because of, like, the medical stuff that's happening with me. Like, I got to be chill, you know? Um, so, yeah. Um, I, I hope... Some people get influenced by my words and start like swaying away from social media and and realizing that you can be happy without it. Actually, I'll be honest, you will be happier, a lot happier, like the happiest without it. Um, even if you're physically disabled and you don't get out much, you can still find happiness away from the chaos. Um, I'm done with chaos. Uh, yeah. Just be happy, guys. And, and learn to love yourselves enough to not let toxicity in or being toxic. Because that's also bad for your mental health. Is when you are toxic. And everyone can be toxic. So it's like no one in particular. It's just, you know, I can be toxic. And I, I choose not to be. You know, I work on that every every day of my life. To be less toxic less reactive, uh, and, and just find the beauty and joy in life. Like, I think one of the joyous things in my life is I get to hear beautiful birds singing every day. Singing? And, um, <clears throat> singing. seeing my cats loving the sounds of the birds and, and my cats waking me up in the morning is always such a beautiful thing. And, and I don't look at my phone first thing in the morning anymore. Like, oh, what did someone say? You know, I'm not worrying about that crap anymore. Um, instead, I listen to the birds. I see my Kit Kats all happy when I wake up. And then, you know, the happiness of my husband while we kiss each other. Good morning. And and that's, oh. that's such a precious part of my life. Oh. That I wouldn't want to lose that. Um... It's a beautiful thing, you know, talking to my sons and getting to know the type of young men they're becoming, and I'm just so proud of them. Um, they're very strong, 
and and smart and and wise in their age and I'm proud of my sons for that um I'm just happy even though I'm struggling I'm still trying to get that $25 but it'll come when it comes um God God always provides always no matter what Lisa, thank you for the super chat. You said she swallowed a fly because she's talking shit. <laughs> Ew. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going through the tides of life and living life <laughs> to the fullest. Thank you, Juan. <laughs> uh, Whatever God. time I have life left, I guess. I'm just living. And Wait, what did she say? Hold on. I was, I was, I was, I was paying attention to something else. Let me. But yeah, I'm just going through the tides of life and living life to the fullest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever time I have life left, I guess. I'm just living and experiencing life as it is instead of being stuck on a screen so i look back when i was like really hardcore into that stuff and i was just so sad and so miserable and i it was like i just want people to love me and care for me now i don't worry about that anymore um because i'm Loving myself yeah, first, I guess. Exactly, Irv. You are correct, Irv, when you said that. Irv says, um, Shani uh, is faking being contrite now. She sounds girlish and innocent. She'll be having a her temper tantrums and slobbing jabs again at any time now. Fuck her. Yeah. David, thank you for the super chat. God always falls for my scams. I mean, he provides. <laughs> oh, say. God. Which is a good thing to you, mentally be. Um, even my therapist says that you're in a good spot mentally. Um, even though you. Oh, thank you, the knitting gamer. You said she makes these to hear herself talk. I think that you're correct. That and to ask for some money. But you know, I think that a big part of it is make she likes to hear herself talk. And I'm now that she went live. When was it? Not yesterday, but the day before. I mean, she's doing it more often. Soon it's not going to be about this God stuff or whatever. This is just her t dipping her toes back in the water, going in kind of slow before all the next thing we know, she will be raging on something, somebody, something will be going on. Going through all this stuff. Thank you, the Nitty You're gamer. in a good spot mentally, and I, I intend to stay that way. So anyway, Jesus bless, guys. Um, peace and Maranatha. I hope you have a wonderful day. And, um you learn how to find additional happiness and prosperity in your life. I pray that in Jesus Christ's name over all of you. Um, a lot of beautiful souls out there, I'll say that, and I'm grateful for the beautiful souls. Um, thank you. Have a nice day, guys. I'm going to go live life and hope you do too. Bye, guys. Bye, Shan. Bye, Shanny. Well, guys, that's going to wrap things up for me. Thank you for hanging out. That was pretty uneventful, but like I said, I think this is just the lead up to uh, the, the next part of the cycle. And, you know, she'll be acting a mess soon. It, it won't be long. She'll be doing the same old thing. You know how it goes. The cycle, she's done it many times before. Um, so I'm going to wrap this up because Omni is going to be going live. Um, I'm dropping the link in the chat to his channel really quick. And I'm going to see if he's got a link to his stream um, already up, posted. Yes, he does. So let me share that with you guys. <clears throat> And I'm going to go hang out with you guys there. I just dropped the link to that specific stream. Just click on that and head right on over. 
Um, I will be on, uh, you know, Shani and Rev Watch should they go live again. Whenever they decide to, I will jump on as soon as I can. And um, either way, you know, I'll be around. So we'll be watching something. But and go head over to Omni Presents and um, have a good night, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Never mind. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and you never come around. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit tired of listening sound of my tears. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit nervous that the best of all the years have gone by. Every now and then I get a little bit terrified and then see the look in your eyes. Turn around. Nothing I can do. I totally eclipse of the heart. But now there's only love in the dark. Nothing I can do. I totally eclipse of the Beautiful song. I love you, babies.